I prepared these two slides basically for today. Uh, this slide will basically consist of why BRIM came into picture and why, as in how did SAP market or position this particular product? So let's say from a business context, right? If you see every business is becoming moving towards a subscription based product, product now rather than your rather than they giving you the product, they're giving you a service. So that is where mm -hmm. BRIM comes into play, correct? So let's say you have Netflix and Hotstar, Disney Plus, uh, Boot, etc. All these streaming apps where you have media entertainment as a service where you're not paying for the app, you're paying for a particular subscription for a particular month or let's say for a year, right? Similarly, yeah. you have different yeah. consumer products as a service. So you get uh, these days, so for, so for example, in uh, in Bangalore or in, even in India, what happens, what we're seeing is that we're seeing uh, this particular thing, all these water purifiers being, being sold on a subscription basis and you get monthly charges based on the water you consume. So that's a usage. Based on the usage, you, you get built. So that's one particular mm -hmm. case for consumer products as a service. Similarly, transportation as a service, you have Uber, Rapido, Ola, all these apps. Software as a service, we're all quite familiar. As in, you mm -hmm. have all these apps like Cisco, all these companies, Cisco, etc., Adobe, yes. all these companies providing you Verizon, VMware, all these companies are providing you software as a service. Hardware as a service is, let, let's say, you can have Bosch giving you some hardware on a, on a subscription basis or as a service. It's being sold mm -hmm. as a service. And similarly, so you have, uh, uh, so there's one project which is currently going on on Allstate, which are, they're giving you roadside insurance as a service. So if you mm -hmm. see all these products, all these, uh, you're seeing a shift in uh, businesses where they are becoming one, they're going from uh, products to services and outcome. So it's the kind of, uh, what should I say, the, the focus of the businesses is going towards how the users consume the service, not consume the product basically yes that's right of course your product yeah. your product is definitely your has product has to has to be uh, a one because if your product is not good your service will not be good service or the kind of uh, what should i say the the service the user gets while he uses your product that is what the user will will probably uh, hold on when he when when you see that there is a repeat customer or something so that is that is one thing mm -hmm. so if you see all so this one is where i put it down where the business models are changing let's say products are moving to services and outcomes you have mobility as a service 3d printing managed print services etc and that you see that everything is getting connected so your phone gets connected to alexa alexa gets connected to macbook etc all these things so autonomous vehicles smartphones city infrastructure fleet management where you see one you have so, so let's say one particular dhl is using an, an entire fleet of like trucks right so how does that uh, whole come into play when you have to manage so many trucks on a daily basis right so that's one thing where fleet managed connected fleet is uh, coming into play then ecosystems of partners are collaborating to deliver more value so you see service providers uh, coming into play and collaborating with other other service providers suppliers etc to give the user more value and the mm -hmm. experience economy is changing customer expectations right so you see all these ai coming into play for devices then mobile apps etc it's the experience which is basically changing how your business model is growing from a product to a service yes absolutely and um... So products are more like uh, you get the customer inside the tent but to keep him in the right tent in the house you need the service to do that actually right and uh, and also yes also another point with services they 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 give a lot more gross profit margin compared to a product generally speaking yeah absolutely yeah yeah so, so even with this profitable. you see there's this yeah. correct there's so so sap came up with this thing called rise with sap where uh, mm -hmm. where uh, let's say you sap is not actually uh, uh, let's say installing that the sap system inside the customers this thing right so it's not on premise it's like cloud and yes. so that the expenses it don't they it's not the like the customer is uh, is spending on capital so mm -hmm. whatever these the whatever so let's say in your balance sheet in the customer's balance sheet the your project or your project budget budgets it goes in the form of op opex basically operational expenditure and not capital expenditure so that is yeah. where even yeah. sap is growing right so they are they're yes. just they're moving from the let's say selling licenses through to like selling cloud-based services, right? That is what SAP yes. is also changing yes. currently. Yes. I, in fact, they have been asking me to move to Rice for some time. So, because <laughs> I'm the manager, I have a relationship with, uh, I mean, a business relationship with the rep. And then they have been like, uh, you want, okay. uh, I think you want to move from on-prem. We have an on-prem. So they are, they want us right. to move to the Rice actually and cloud solution. Yeah. Correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the focus on, of SAP is currently that, like they're 
They're yes. trying to move everything to a cloud-based version rather than, that's the vision they have as in 2025, 2026. I think that's one vision. Let's see yes. what happens. Okay.